Hello, Mr. Hamlin. This is Hal Jacobs, PGA professional at Worcester Country Club, just reviewing our lesson from uh, April 21st, 2011. Uh, we really just talked about two uh, two things. Number one, you know, there's a lot of knee bend in here uh, in your legs. Um, and if I uh, bring up, I, you know, I found two other examples I thought you might like to see. Jeff Maggart is one of them. Uh, he's a guy that has his hands quite a bit ahead and has a little bit more knee flex um, than a guy like uh, Tom, David Thomas. But here's Justin Leonard. You can see uh, what he looks like. And, and really what I'm looking for is the relationship between your, your butt and your uh, the back of your feet uh, like that. So if, if I bring back Jeff Maggart, and you can see he's got a little more knee flex than Justin Leonard, but it's still... Um, still not quite as as um, as much as yours, and it, it's not as deep. In terms of deep, I don't. His butt's not uh, as far backwards, uh, so to speak. So I, I want you to watch that uh, when you practice. Um, let's take him up to the top of his backswing, and you know that's the top of his backswing right there. I know you talked about how great you hit it when you were trying to hit punch shots. Um, and although you don't have a really long swing, it's still longer than I think for a seven iron you need to be. So that may, may be why you're hitting the, the knockdown shots really well. Uh, looking at the face-on view, I think if your hands are too far ahead right here, uh, the ball position is much better than it was the last time. Uh, but just take a look at, at, at what this looks like. Um, if I bring up now, Jeff Maggard is probably the, the most hands ahead I've seen on tour. Um, so here's him. Uh, but you could tell, that, I mean, you could see it, it doesn't, the gap between his back leg and his right hand is not the same size as the gap between your, your uh, hand. So I, I know his stance may be just a hair uh, narrower. Um, but at the same rate, his, his hands aren't as far forward. His shoulders aren't as tilted. Uh, remember, we talked about that. So, you know, I would like to see uh, your hands about the shaft to look something like that instead of uh, the way it does. But, uh, you know, every, all, everything else uh, looks really good. I liked uh, what I saw. We worked a little bit on, on those two things uh, mostly. I know we talked about your right elbow being important uh, and being loose in order for you to hit crisp shots. Uh, I, I think we might need to spend a little more time on the golf course like we did the last half of the lesson because uh, you definitely look different on the range than you did on the golf course. Uh, just real quick, I'll bring up Justin Leonard. And uh, you can see what his uh, – he's hitting a six iron here, and you can see the difference in his uh, – uh, hand position in terms of what what uh, where he is. I, I think you will hit uh, more solid shots if your hands are a little bit farther back uh, and, and looking a little bit more like this. Uh, it's a little more neutral position. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me, call me at the shop, or flag me down next time you see me, and uh, let me know how it's going. Have a great day.